Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to part 13 of my Criminal Empire Challenge. Unlucky for some, but I have a feeling this is going to be a very lucky part for Oliver. I'm very excited, I haven't recorded this in like over a week and it just felt nice to sit and play The Sims for a little while with everything I've had going on. It was nice just to get ready for this part. As you can tell, I played like three days off screen. We kind of went from Winterfest straight to New Year's Eve. We're probably not gonna be focusing, actually we, we are gonna be focusing on that because Oliver is pretty much on his third step to becoming the criminal empire mastermind. So we all know that he has his shop. He is also a level six in his career. He did manage to get a promotion. So he is now a boss. From knocking out armed guards to intimidating rival gangs with a single arched eyebrow, which he does have very arched eyebrows, I will give him that. Oliver is now the brawn behind the brains and he's closer to the action than ever. Don't mess with him. Which again, kind of doesn't make sense because, you know, he's not, he's not the brawniest guy in the world. Oh my god, I completely forgot that it's a Saturday. How could I forget? I was like yeah the kids are gonna go off to work it's gonna be fine um work i meant school he has been practicing his mental skill he's also a b grade in school which is good he just needs to finish his homework once more whilst focused which is really easy for him because he's just like a little know-it-all to be honest he is so freaking good when it comes to school and working on his mental. A lot of stuff has happened off screen, but getting back to Oliver's third step. So he's in a criminal career. He already has his shop, which did actually go through some renovations because we've been doing very well on the shop. So I changed the markup to 50% instead of 25%. So he's earning a few more simoleons off that. He hasn't really sold any of like his big boy items as of right now like he's still got the plates he's still got the um the knight armor so those have unfortunately not been sold but we are starting to bring in like a good amount of simoleons with both of those so in this part i want to start a restaurant i actually saw this really cool thing on twitter plumbella aka jesse she found it on reddit which i need to join sims reddit reddit has always seemed like a really scary place on the internet so i've never actually like had a reddit i've never really participated in reddit culture but maybe i should read it on reddit and get involved because people seem to really be kicking off on there like with really cool sims ideas and it was basically like this zoning map for community lots so you could set some of the zones to like a park you could set some of it to a bar some of it to a restaurant it was insane and i wish that it was a thing but what i'm thinking for this restaurant is we're not really going to be selling food first of all and i know that means it's not going to be the most profitable but i kind of want it to be like a cd bar like where him and his club gather and then where other like cd going ons happen so that's going to be exciting um we are going to get that done in this part someone said eating dirt um they both affect manners, so I'm just gonna go for whatever. Destiny, you need to grab a serving. And I guess once we have, um, once we've actually, dude, why don't you eat these pancakes? Once we've actually um, built the restaurant, I think we're gonna host a New Year's bash there. You know, like kind of a grand opening. No, I don't want to join garden gnomes. I really, really don't. Although a shroom business could be great. Hmm. Maybe I will have him join the garden gnomes. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Should we get Lil Luca into a, into a shroom, a mushroom? A mushroom only a mushroom business let me know in the comments you know i feel like that would fit the criminal theme of this whole let's play so who knows maybe maybe we'll do it 
Um, Oliver's still sleeping. Come on. Okay. Daddy, you can come use this and then you can clean it quickly. We really need to get Oliver up and ready for the day because we want to buy this restaurant like literally before thingy. It's not going to be a good restaurant. <laughs> don't get me wrong. We don't have that many simoleons. We have almost 3,000 in our household funds and then in our business funds, we have 5,000. But I think we need to buy the lot. I don't actually know where to build the restaurant that's the only thing. I kind of want to start a monopoly in Oasis Springs considering that's currently where the um maybe Samai Shuno though. I feel like it would have a better fit in Samai Shuno because if you think about it like that's where all the big boys are gonna be hanging out in it. Like I know the Fist Club, I know they have a monopoly pretty much on Oasis Springs and we kind of want to get our foot in the door but for a restaurant I feel like a seedy kind of jazz bar. Why are they always jazz bars? I swear like in um Batman like and everything like even in Birds of Prey. He owned like a sleazy jazz bar. I think Penguin owns a sleazy jazz bar. What is it about the sleazy jazz bars <laughs> that criminals just love to hang out in? I mean, I've never personally been to a jazz club, which I need to go. Now that I've moved back to Manchester, um, I kind of want to like explore more places because I really miss living by a city. I never thought I was a city girl. I was like, I love the sea. I want to live by the ocean. Um, but I actually really enjoy living close to a city. So... I need to start like going to more places. I want to go to a jazz bar. I want to do everything. Uh, he is chatting in a kid's chat room. This is how he gets his socialization. He's such a little nerd. He's like me when I was a kid, like sat there on Bim Weevils and Club Penguin, like tip the iceberg. That's what he's doing right now. He's chatting away. This was me. My mum had to drag me out in summertime. Now that I'm an adult, I like try and get out as in the sun as much as possible like I freaking love summer as a kid no way I wanted to spend time on chat rooms and playing games with my online friends which makes sense because now I have a YouTube channel and I talk to all of you guys and I stream on Twitch Mondays and Wednesdays twitch.tv slash English simmer who that was painful. Why? She got a hole in her butt. She had a full on hole in her butt. She is messed up. I have quite a bit of broken CC in my game. All right, Oliver, uh, you need to get your hunger up, boy. Come and get some leftovers. I see Lyric is here and I kind of started a little he just flung that door open in Lyric's face. Um, that was some sassy toddler walks. But yeah, I kind of had a little fling. They didn't like woohoo or anything. We didn't try for a baby. Obviously we tried with Nancy, but I haven't had a notification yet to say that Nancy's like has or hasn't had the baby, which is quite bizarre. So I might try and invite her to the big opening tonight saying that haven't even freaking started. Oh, oh my God, baby born, baby born. I always read that notification in the baby born uh, little jingle. Hi, Oliver, Nancy here. I just wanted to let you know, I just had Leo, a beautiful baby boy. Boom, speak of the devil and he shall be spawned from Nancy's hellhole. Ew. I don't want to think of Nancy's hellhole. We are definitely gonna have to go around to see him. Probably in the next part though, not gonna lie. Oh my god, I've never seen these decorations. They're so cute. They kind of look like super handmade. So yeah, I kind of had these two, but then I wasn't feeling them together. I know a lot of you guys have said have an affair with Lyric, but honestly, I just... it. Even when I was like playing around with them, I was like, oh, this feels weird. Like I kind of see them having like a brother and sister kind of relationship from the asylum. And so 
I don't really like them together as an item, but I kind of want to find an alien lover because I haven't had a sim abducted in the longest time in The Sims 4 and then your chances only go up if you're like really friendly with aliens or work in the scientist career and I kind of want to like I feel like aliens not to be alienist but I feel as if they're pretty shady characters when it comes to The Sims, you know the whole backstory of Bella Goth and them abducting her and her going missing you know you can never really trust an alien in the sims and so i kind of want to i kind of want to have an affair with an alien i need someone to invite me out to alien night though like i need to be at a bar and then have the pop-up like it's alien night that would be great all right so we are going to buy a restaurant where do i want it i think i want it in the arts quarter i think i want to get rid of the art gallery to be honest who even uses the art gallery so give me a few and i'm gonna get this restaurant all right so i did a little bit of work on the restaurant it's pretty much like wiped out all of our funds i think we have about 100 to 200 simoleons in each of our accounts right now so definitely um not great but i think we can earn that money back pretty easily once oliver like goes to work again and also works at the shop a little bit so what i'm gonna do is go down here we are gonna add an event we're going to do uh, <laughs> i think we'll do a dance party and then i don't even know if we can do this at our bar i'm hoping that we will be able to fingers crossed but it is incomplete and i don't think i can host it at restaurants so maybe this was a little bit dumb of me or maybe i can just like invite everyone around to our house and then we can all go to the restaurant together maybe fingers crossed she wants to make a bff and i actually we can we can ask our dad because we all know that she's a little daddy's girl like oliver absolutely freaking loves bonnie he is a sucker for his little girl i sent you some money buy yourself something good with that i don't know why she keeps sending daddy money but she does queenie am i like her booty call not gonna lie i always assumed daddy was uh was gay because you know he's a very effeminate man and he's very very camp but who knows maybe him and queenie i think they do have a little thing they do okay yep definitely squeaky bum tings for sure did we become bffs with our father we did become friends with three other children i don't think we're even friends with our brother she doesn't really like oh she is friends so surely that should count we should have one out of three become friends with two adults and achieve level 10 in the social skill social skill is like super freaking easy to do I'm gonna clean up all of these and then you know what we might head on over to the gym hope that sergey is there and then we could maybe get into a fight with him but like i said i'm kind of scared to do that maybe we'll take down one of his little his little bozos you know going down um but i doubt we can even do that because he's he's built like squidward you know what i've just realized that traveling isn't actually gonna work so i'm gonna get rid of that dance event i'm gonna have another event it's not gonna be the opening of our restaurant because to be honest it's really not done right now i will show you guys at the end of the part what i currently have but i obviously need to do way more work on it so ted meredith um maybe we should invite caleb i mean i kind of want to start inviting supernaturals i feel like they have um a strong strong advantage so i think we're gonna have it at the blue velvet and it's gonna be again uh we're gonna do 10 p.m so we're not gonna take everyone to our restaurant because it kind of doesn't make sense right now but let's do some energized heavy lifting considering we are meant to be the muscle <gasps> sergey is here we need to full-on declare him as an enemy 
we're gonna imply that he's overrated because he is a celebrity so we can do that we can imply that he's overrated oh look here's tristan oh you're not going straight over to sergey this time around maybe we'll get into a fight with him Aw, he's saying hi to Becca. He's become really good friends with Becca. Becca's kind of like thick though. Like, damn, Becca. Those, um, those little leggings make you look pretty good. We need to imply that he's overrated. Yeah, you yell at him, Oliver. We're gonna also actually yell at him instead of just implying he's overrated. But we do think that he is overrated. Oh, we're not allowed to talk to you? You are being shunned by Sergei. Okay, so I guess we're not getting into a fight with Sergei, but we'll be, we're gonna intimidate Tristan. And we're also gonna insult him. And we're gonna imply his mother is a llama. This is what you get for messing with Oliver. This is what you get for being friends with the enemy. I'm about to ruin your career. You know, I kicked Jack out of the club and within the next day, he was dead. I'm telling you, you don't want to mess with Ollie. I know he might not look it, but he's a scary, scary guy. We can actually fight him. Right, come on, Oliver. Let's teach him a lesson or two. I don't know why my fight doesn't work anymore. He's triumphant. Apparently we won which is good um but it also didn't count towards uh, let me try that again i don't know i feel like there's a big mod clash right now i feel like i have a mod that really really is messing with my game and i don't know what it is because i can't fight people if anybody else has had this issue with a mod maybe then please do let me know because it's not like ticking off our little things Ugh, that's broken and it smells like ass also we have an awful reputation so that's great for me no one's gonna come to my restaurant or anything having an awful reputation can have its benefits oliver may receive some interesting opportunities from sims of ill repute such as attending a lampoon party i love a good lampoon party that's actually great. Making other scumbag friends or being set up on dates with sims of questionable morals. And if he finds himself in a career that isn't exactly legal, he'll earn bonus job performance. I mean, that's great. Let's get together and how like wolves karaoke right now. Oh God, Jack's even calling me from the grave. I really can't get rid of him, can I? He is the worst. Oh, I really wish it was alien night. So now we need to recruit a vampire and we need to recruit an alien. You see how quick he was? I wanna go cheer him on. We can only heckle him though. I think it's cause we're, um, we're mischievous, but let's go and um, order drink for group. We have barely any simoleons to our name. So let's get the cheapest white wine that they have. Probably gonna taste like vinegar, but we wanna get our fame up a little bit, you know, we wanna at least put on a pretense that we have a fair bit of money, especially in front of Ted Roswell. I mean, if you don't pretend you have money in front of the Roswells, they won't ever wanna hang out with you ever again. We can actually, speaking of, there was just a talk about money. Ah, oh, it disappeared, damn it. All right, we need to, Caleb, stop running so fast. Why are you running? Let's go and watch his performance. Are you doing love poems? Are you for reals? I was just about to recu recruit you. I was like, yeah, an evil vampire would be good, but this is soft. I don't need a soft vampire on my team. I need someone with a little bit of oomph, a little bit of ugh and ugh, you know? I need someone who's gonna help me out in my criminal career and I feel like maybe you're not the one. Maybe I should be chasing after your sister instead. Maybe she's the person I need to be talking to. 
You know what? Instead of waiting for an alien night, I want you guys to create an alien lover for Oliver. So use the hashtag capital E capital S criminal. That is the hashtag on the gallery. So it's English summer criminal, but just ES criminal. Use that as your hashtag in your aliens description. And I want to see what you guys can come up with. And I'm going to choose one of them to be Oliver's lover because I want an alien partner in life. You know, we've had Destiny, we've had Nancy Langrab, two very, I mean, not vanilla because like Nancy Langrab, uh, actually she is the full definition of vanilla. Destiny, not so much, you know, um, she, her mother was, was a strange one. So definitely not vanilla, but still a human, um, kind of, kind of flavorless in some areas. Speaking of, I feel bad bad mouthing the mother of my children, so I'm gonna go be flattering towards her. We're gonna talk about money, even though it's a very sore topic right now in our family, in our household, because he's using a lot of it. Glad we got to catch up. Uh, Caleb, I am not over yet, okay? We need to become better friends, but you just keep hopping on the microphone and proclaiming your love for probably someone who died like 600 years ago. I'm sorry, Edward Cullen who? It's all about Caleb Vator right now. <sighs> Do I recruit Caleb? Oh no, he seems a bit like a wet wipe. I mean, I know a lot of people love him. He has the heart of many a Sims player because he is the emo king. He really does seem to be the emo king in The Sims 4, but he just seems a little bit wet for Oliver. I don't think he's the type of man we need. Speaking of, I actually want to get Bonnie, like not a workout machine because obviously kids in The Sims can't work out because that's ridiculous, but I want to get her like some monkey bars or something so that she can start working on her motor skill because I think not only does she want to be like charismatic to kind of um, show off to her dad, but she also wants to be super athletic so that she is kind of like the brains and the brawn and the face like she wants to be a triple threat in this criminal empire so i think we're gonna buy her something to like expel her energy out on where are the toilets up here i'm really sad that there's not ted are you okay oh god Ted's infected. Maybe this is a perfect opportunity. You know what? Don't go to the toilet. We're not doing it. Come and snap Ted out of it. Actually, no, don't. Because if we talk to him like this, then maybe he'll agree to like joining our club because then he's, you know, he's a little goo goo gaga. He's very easily persuadable right now. Yep. That's exactly what I want to see, Ted. Thank you, Strangerville. Beauty, 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 beauty. I still wish that that had more to do with Bella. Honestly, it annoys me that Strangerville didn't have more to do with Bella Goth. But let's see if we go to clubs. Let's see. We're gonna have to like try. Okay, let's snap him out of it. We need to try and convince him to leave Fist Club. Oh, New Year's was awful. We didn't even do a countdown. There's not even a damn TV in this bar. Why the hell did we come here? Attempt to steal money. No, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna be mean to him. I just wanna tell him to leave the other club but I don't know if we can do that. So in the next part, we're definitely gonna have to work on Ted and getting him to join our club, or I might even do that off screen. He's definitely gonna be easily persuadable though, considering he's infected by the Strangerville illness. So thank you, Strangerville, for that one. And thank you guys for watching this episode. I know I said I was gonna show off the restaurant, but I need to get going. Uh, I have things to do today, so I apologize. I still have to edit this video before I head out out for the evening but thank you guys so so much for tuning in so yeah what i think we're gonna do in the next part is kick tristan out of the group which i know i'm sorry i know he's one of your sims that you created but that's what you get if you mess with sergey 
you mess with Oliver. So we are gonna kick him out of our club. He is out of here and we are instead gonna get Ted to join. I'm gonna talk to him, supply him with a few more drinks and get him to join our club instead of this club. And then we also need to go see Leo. Next part is gonna be a big one. We have a lot to do. I'm gonna work on some money off screen so that I can get the restaurant up and running. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning into this part. I hope you all enjoyed. This criminal empire is definitely taking off right now. So give it a big thumbs up. Leave your comments and suggestions down below. Remember to upload your alien to hashtag ESCriminal over on the gallery. That will also be down in the description or in the comment section. Thank you guys for tuning in and I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.